None of your hard work matters if you can't even receive payments from your dropshipping store. You can become as knowledgeable as you want at dropshipping and spend as much as your heart desires on running ads, but it will be a waste if you don't set up a payment provider first. In this video, I'll show you guys how I set up my dropshipping store without Shopify payments using a secret payment provider that allows me to receive payouts immediately when they complete the order and latest two days after they complete the order. The information I share in this video is applicable to people all around the world and for all my brothers in African countries, I got you with a solution to smoothly receive payments with no stress. The payment provider that most of my customers prefer using is the PayPal Express Checkout. And the best thing about PayPal is that you receive your payment immediately the customer completes their order. And now I'm going to show you guys how to enable PayPal and avoid any potential cash hold. Now the first step is to create a PayPal business account. And you can easily do this by going to paypal.com and there'll be an option between to select a starter and a business account and select a business account. Once that is done, everything else we're going to do is now on the Shopify side of things. So once you're on Shopify, head over to settings and then click on payments. And then you'll see right here, PayPal is the first option on supported payment method. So click on activate PayPal and activate again and it's gonna take you to a page where you're gonna log in with your PayPal account, your PayPal business account, remember? And boom, just like that, you now have an account and you've successfully integrated PayPal with Shopify. Easy as cake. And as you can see, my PayPal is active. Next, I'm going to show you how to avoid potential holes. So you want to install an app called Proofway. So click right here on add apps scroll down and click on find more apps in the shopify app store then search for proofway and it's going to be this one right over here with the p and the arrow pointing up red logo so click install it's gonna load up click install again and as you can see the app has been installed what this app does is that it shares the tracking numbers from your orders that are given to you by the supplier with PayPal in order to show proof of value delivered. This app does have charges, but it's a percentage based system based off of your order value. That means if you don't get any sales on your store through PayPal Express checkout, then you won't have any fees to pay on this app. So next, it wants us to connect our PayPal account. I'm gonna click, I don't use Stripe because I don't. And then connect with PayPal. It's going to be the same process all over again. And once you connect your PayPal, it will ask you, would you like to sync your past orders? If you've gotten orders before with PayPal, before you install this app, then do that. But this is a brand new store I made simply for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to click skip. Select the free plan. Now, before we make a mistake, later on, we're going to need our account in dollars to set up the next payment provider. So let me do that. Once you set up your PayPal account, a human agent will be assigned to you by the Proofway app and they'll be assisting you in making sure your store does not get flagged as a risky store which will cause future PayPal holds. Now the option to talk to the agent isn't going to show up for me because I have no products connected to my store. But once you're done talking to the agent, you want to set up your tracking page. This is the page where your customers will be able to paste their tracking number and track the movement of their product as it leaves a supplier, lands in their country, is on the way to be delivered to them and arrives at their doorstep. Now to do that, scroll down and click create for free on the dedicated contact us page and the instructions are all here just follow what it tells you and then next you want to enable order tracking so click right here on order tracking and click activate activate order tracking approve and there it's activated then click continue to order tracking be careful with leaving too much money in your paypal account you have to remember PayPal is not a bank account and your money could still get held due to unrelated issues. And when I say held, I don't mean for a few days. They could decide to hold 60% of your money for 90 days and think about how that's going to affect your business. I recommend you to withdraw your PayPal balance to your bank account 
anytime it gets over three hundred dollars and if you're in a country like nigeria or tanzania where paypal is banned then this next payment provider is a solution for you paystack is a payment provider i use to process credit card payments for example visa mastercard and american express now paystack is a nigerian company that was acquired by stripe in 2020 for 200 million dollars and the best part is you can use paystack in kenya ghana south africa and nigeria it's literally stripe but african to set up paystack checkout you must first create a paystack account to do that head to paystack.com and click on create free account once you arrive on this page select your country i'm gonna do kenya your business name which should be your shopify store name your actual names email address phone number and select starter business it's gonna ask you later on what kind of business it is and you want to select either sole proprietorship or e-commerce do not select drop shipping it is a trick question and they will ban you from using their services once you're done setting up your account you should turn off test mode and you do that by simply going up here where it says test and clicking the slider and it should switch to live mode and the reason you have to turn test mode off is that if it's on people are not going to be able to complete their payments on your website next click settings and come over to the preferences tab and select your default currency to be us dollars and accept payments via card make sure your store's default currency is usd or else your customers are going to experience a technical error when they try to check out on your store next head over to api keys and webhooks and here's where you're going to start to generate your public key and your secret key which are what we're going to use to connect our paystack account to shopify so as you can see here i have my live public key live secret key test secret key and test public key if there's nothing there click on generate a new secret key and it should send them to your email copy it and then paste it in over here and do the exact same thing on the test mode section the next thing you want to do is to connect our paystack account to shopify so back on shopify click on settings go to payments add payment method search by provider and then type in paystack and there it is so click on that click it again click on install and that's going to open a new tab where it's going to ask you to install the paystack app click install and you're going to arrive on this page where you're meant to paste in all those keys that you got in your email paste them all in here and then click on update and from there your paystack integration should be all set up now we're not done yet you want to go to the drop down menu that shows up and select only visa american express and mastercard after you get your first sale paystack will hold your money for a temporary period as they conduct a business review to make sure your business fits all of their rules and to look for proof of value delivered and after you answer their questions the payment hold will last until your order arrives at the customer's location and once that happens you want to send paystack a follow-up email with the tracking number attached so that they can verify this on their end now during the business review they'll ask you a few specific questions about your business make sure to give a realistic story and never confess to being a dropshipping store i made this mistake when i got my first sale back on my birthday and they immediately washed their hands of us and i was left unable to process payment and i don't want you guys to end up in that same unfortunate situation but even though they shut you down they're still gonna send you your money but the issue is you're never going to be able to work with them again at least on that email and they do this because they see dropshipping as a risky business model for them remember they are a business too and they have their best interests at heart if you'd like my own personal script that i use to always guarantee a pass during the business review then let's have this video hit 50 likes and i'll drop it down in the description below for all you guys to use for free now before you exhale let's make sure all the payment providers are working to do this you want to initiate a checkout on your store and if it takes you to a page where you have to complete the payments then that's how you know it's working if you really want to go the extra step then you can create yourself a like 99 percent discount code and then make an order on your store for like a dollar if it's paypal you'll get your money immediately if it's paystack you should at least receive an order confirmation email now you should be ready to accept dropshipping payments on your store and scale your product to the moon if you learned something valuable from this video then please subscribe and drop a comment down below if you have any further questions or would like one-on-one -on -one coaching then you can dm me on instagram or x 
at Nate Stupid. And until next time, stay hard, keep grinding, and don't give up. Peace.